Hey my friends, welcome to the Golden Hands Gardening JA YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, I'm Kevin, your host. And, you know see what I go on? You know see what I go on with the cantaloupe? Yeah man, progress I go on man, you know. Let me carry on a little closer. So here, we have the first fruit here. You know, I know the fruit are really the organic pot. Yeah, man, the, the pattern I grow with no fertilization. I just some thing mature and scraps is mature it. And see nice fruit. Huh? Yeah, it'll give me. Right, so while we're talking about in this in this episode, I'm gonna be sharing some tips and tricks with you guys. And like I would have showed I wanna what talk about tip number one. Right? Tip number one is the prune. We cut off the vine here, so right see that it would have been one of these vines but because you have a fruit panny you just cut it off so what is this going to do now is going to force the tree the plant the vine to focus all of its energy on developing the fruit instead of developing other fruits and blossoms of the vine right so i do that with with all of them you know so i'm gonna go on Show you some more of our guan. You know, because we have fruits that pop up, you know. We have fruits that pop up. Go on, right, sir. Go up the sun, not too much. Another one that there, right, sir. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing the same thing to this, though. See what we cut. You can't show me. If you look good, you will see which part we cut. Yeah. All right, see one of the little one in there, sir. Nice all boat. You know, have a nice size one in a sock. Really, really nice size one. And a two variety of cantaloupe in a drawer. And this is, this is a different variety. You understand? This is the first one. You see again, cut, cut, body, it, tap it, or whatever. See? So it has swell up. Yeah? Going down the line, going down the line, going down the line. Watch out. You see it? Yeah, man. That never did the last night when I go home. I go to bed. This man, I'm just this. And I saw them surprise. You know? So them surprise. Oh, a nice one in us. Look where you catch up itself. Hmm? Well, I want a nice size. Yeah, man, so then take the nickel time, I followed up. The nickel time, I followed up. Alright, we go down the line. Alright? So, we're going to talk about tip number two now. See, now when I talk about the tips, the same thing applies for the watermelon. Look, watch it. Vine them, realize it. I cut off all of the. The, 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 the leaf and the stem them like about five or six on the stem on the vine you cut off all of the leaf them all of the vine because you want it to develop a proper root system I want proper vine a strong vine you don't want it to split 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 before that so anything we grow up by us you have to constantly remove them yeah and you look all of them stay away there. You see me? Yeah man. So you want them to develop on proper root system. Or on proper vine. Because you want them to be strong. So you're going to prune them like that. Right? And go run us. You see? So you know then two pata I want to do. And we have one fruit. Little fruits. Then them a little fruit than the moss and every fruit where you come up on the vine go and come up. But we have a nice fruit right now. So. Yeah. Alright. We have some more cantaloupe to come up in. You see me? Yeah, man. So one more yeah. One more that. You know, see it. See one another one above 
Every single one in a container. You see me? Yeah, I have fruit that come up, you know. You see, I can't show you that one already, right? So. Yes. That look like one of the Jubilee. You see, I can't show you that one, right? So. Boy. You know, see? This one is Sugar Baby. This is the first one that come up on the vine. Sugar Baby, that one, you know. See. Yeah. Alright, so on to tip number three. Tip number three is watering. Now it is important when you are planting a container, so you have to water. I water properly. Now me water my watermelon them three times a day. If the day is extremely hot, three times a day. So you have to watch your weather condition them too. You see me? Every day is cool and there is no need for you to water three times for the day. But if you find hot most of the time, so three times a day. 8 o'clock, 4, 12 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Religiously, I water thoroughly. I mean, I water them thoroughly. You understand? I water them thoroughly. So they don't them, them no have no issues. Because look here, the watermelon fruit, as the name suggests, is watermelon. Whole heap water. So if you don't give the fruit water, it is likely going to come deformed from water deficiency. You know, see? Yeah, so we water them like three times a day. You see me? Right? Um, tip number four. You know, see? Fertilization. Right? Now, when me... I'm going to share this with you now. When we fill up the pot then with dirt, right? Me put the dirt them halfway in the pot. Halfway, fill up the pot, the dirt, the pot halfway. Then I put a layer of 2020 fertilizer in it. And then I cover it with dirt. And you see how they look fresh. They look fresh and green and nice, don't it? Yes. And also when you do this now, after them start, like when them start blossoming you now. You want, if you know, give them a blossom boost, a, a fertilizer that is more rich in potassium and phosphorus. You see me? So I fertilize them like once every week with a granular fertilizer upon them at this stage. You see me? We have more potassium and phosphorus than nitrogen. Right, I mean some young in as well come up. They may have Charles and Gray. Charles and Gray, they may have So I have five varieties of watermelon. And if you look closely, if you look closely, we see we can get a good view of this one. I have one nice one in this one. See me. Yeah, so it progress I go on. It progress I go on. Bonus tip is spraying. Yeah, if you look on and leave them, and I leave them clean, extremely clean. Extremely clean. No aphids, no white flies, the only thing we really have a suffer from are wet name leaf miners really very few and that is because me use me me spray use me spray properly this time the last time me use the spray and burn them up you know see so me get me figure out the ratio of the spray this time and 
when you use an insecticide or pesticide people if you're not sure about how much to use you can always be safe when using one one teaspoon per gallon and that is what i have now been doing and it has worked well for me you know, see everything look good everything look nice everything look fresh not no burn up you know, see no disease no infections one teaspoon per gallon all right so take care of yourself people until next time and thanks for watching